What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Corey Kinchin here, and welcome back to Desert Nightmare! Last episode... <laughs> I said that so freaking epic. Last episode, um... Yeah, we met a couple of, uh, characters in this freaking town called Dusty Creek. Everyone is acting strange, but, um... Yeah, we're gonna have a little meetup with Alan and Jake. Um... Apparently, they're newcomers here as well, so... Uh, it's a shutter. Wait, I forgot where we were supposed to be meeting them. Hold on, I'm probably gonna have to walk around for a second. Uh, the door is locked. What about over here? The police station, the door is locked. Come on. It's all the freaking doors locked. Dang. Crap! going on what the heck is going on what's this strange symbol uh-oh turn around turn what is that a freaking my champ that thing was buff oh my gosh hey what was that the door won't open yeah, obviously. Hello? Is someone there? <coughs> oh, crap. Maybe it was just the wind. How can I get out? Alright. Um. Let's look around. Boxes. Boxes. Anything in there? A tool cabinet. Oh, obviously. Come on, it's a screwdriver. Let's get it. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, what? This place is huge. Okay, what's this? Light bulb attained. Oh, yes. Because our brother needs those light bulbs. Not really. I don't know what, why I need a light bulb. But perhaps we will find out later. You know what? One thing. Oh, my gosh. Safe combination. Awesome. One thing that I really enjoy about RPG games and RPG horrors and stuff is like almost everything is... Oh, light bulb. Wait, hold up. You can like interact with nearly everything. It's a lamp. It's missing a light bulb. We got that. Oh, I have to go into my inventory and use it? There we go. What's this? Poster fragment? Alright, that's cool. But yeah, like I was saying, you can like interact with everything. That's why you literally have to check everything in these games because you will miss something just like that and it'll cause you to freaking walk around for an extra two hours. Oh, trust me, I've had to do it multiple times. That's cool. Oh, hey. I see where we need our poster fragment. None of the doors lead out. What? Turn around, girl! Oh! What? What? What is that thing? I, I need to get out of here! Yeah, you think? Use the objects in the room around you to escape. All objects that can be used are marked with a green symbol. Um, yeah, let's do that. What, if, what did that do? Oh! Not now. Wait. What's going on? Oh, gosh. Uh, I do not understand what the freak is going on right now, okay? I'm going to just walk around. It's better for me to spill the glue the other way. Um, can I do that? What the freak? I just jumped over there. To <laughs> hey, take a bite out of me. Um, cans and tools. Um, what the freak, man? What did I... Oh! Completely on accident! What? What? What's that, I think? Well, anyways, I know what I need to do. And what is that? I, <laughs> I need to get out! Okay, okay. 
It's sort of weird having a monologue with yourself. All right, can I use my poster fragment really quick? Wait, I had something. Poster fragment. The key is in the safe behind the poster. Okay. Aha! A safe. So let's look at the combination that we found. Uh, 71456. Let's get this puppy open. 71456. Hey! Warehouse key. Can we please get out of here now? Uh, wait. There we go. Opens the warehouse. Alright, I can't use it, so it must, like, be used automatically. Can I go this way and use it? Wait, I forgot which way it, you use it. Um, I want to get out of here. Help me, please. Help me. Yes, it worked. Hey, this is that creepy posse music. It's dusk already. The bar. Someone must be there. Oh, dang. I guess that was supposed to happen. Oh, hey, we got a lively crowd here. Finally, someone is here. Everyone needs to go um, uh, go immediately to the warehouse. There is a thing inside. Don't you understand? There's a monster. It almost got me. They're probably just like, shut up. But... Ah, uh, you're not drunk, are you? It was probably a coyote you saw. Those things are always around here. That's the second person that said it's a freaking coyote. Dang. They mistook her for a drunk or something. Even the people at the table weren't reacting. They didn't believe me. What was it? I can't stop thinking about it. That was no coyote. I've never been so anxious. Who? Who are you? And what are you doing? That's a runaway. The symbol will protect you tonight. Protect me? But... You must leave the city tomorrow before it is too late. Too late? What did he mean? Why is everything so strange here? Why is he crying? Well, actually, I'd be crying too. <laughs> so freaking monster is chasing me. What is this city? I... I want to leave. Man, who busting up in my room? Jake! Jake, did I say you could come in? Yo. I just heard you talking. What happened? Oh, pretty boy wants to know what happened, huh? You won't believe me. Tell me already. We gotta do our cool voice. And then the Indian drew a strange symbol on the door. This whole city is really strange. But your monster, that was certainly an animal. No, it was a monster! Well, you can stay here tonight. I mean, ooh! Sandra, you offering the goods too early, okay? Sure, no problem. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Do you want the bed? <laughs> this girl is just, she's moving so fast! I think I'll stay here. She's just throwing the booty at him. All right, there's a chair there. It's gonna be uncomfortable. So like, yeah, you wanna get in the bed with me? I mean, of course you're gonna sleep over that side. What was that? Jake? Um, it's time to freaking get up. Jake, wake up! Jake! What the f- It 
It was only a dream. Jake isn't here anymore. This... There's a message there. Hey, sleepyhead. I'm going to look around the city. Meet me tonight in the bar. I don't want to stay in this place anymore. I need to go to the pension. Mom and Dad should be there. <sighs> no, the Indian told me I need to leave today. Oh, what's going on, Alan? Alan! He's like, you told me to go to the bar yesterday. Good morning. I... I know it's crazy, but yesterday I saw a monster in the warehouse. A monster? Yes, and it's probably also the thing that attacked the dog. Sometimes someone's mind plays uh, play tricks on them. Maybe that happened to you. Why doesn't anyone believe me? Oh, I I'm sorry. No, I'm alright. This town is strange. I already know that for myself. I would have driven away a long time ago, but my car is still in the workshop. And the mechanic has already had a lot of time to fix it, but he won't answer my knocking. I will talk to the police, but no one is at the police department. I could just simply walk away. But where? There's nothing but wilderness for a hundred miles. I'll go to my parents. I believe they're in the pension on the other side of the city. Ah, that's good. So you know a way out. I'm going to go check the workshop again. Maybe it's open now. Okay. Alright, well, at least Alan's okay. I could have swore, though, that we were all supposed to meet at the bar yesterday, last night, but uh, glad he wasn't mad about that. So, I guess we're going to investigate this pension, which seems to be this way, I think. <laughs> Uh, wait. What is it? What is this place? House number eight. House number nine. Um, uh, what's up here? Oh, hello. Nice scarecrow. The head is covered in black tape, and there are nails everywhere. Wheelbarrow. Doors locked. All the freaking doors are locked in Dusty Creek. Who has the master key? Because I was just trying to freaking get out of here, okay? The freaking uh, mechanic acting strange. No cops in the uh, police department. This place no good. You know what? I'm out of here. Skip Dusty Creek. Tired of... For real, though? Ah! For all these freaking rad scorpions. The whole street is covered in scorpions. No. Scorpions can't be this big. Told you they rad scorpions. Need to get the freaking, what are they called? Fat man. What kind of monsters are these? Dude, I ain't going nowhere. I, I can't leave town now. What should I do now? Well, there's nothing to do now except turn your butt back around. Gosh, man. What are those? Three keys. Oh! Alright, sweet. Let's see what keys they are. Uh, apparently these are the keys for houses 7, 8, and 9. Alright. Those were north, I do believe. Wait, which one was this? Oh, wait. I don't know which house it was. This place is full of wasps. If I really want to get really want to be here I better get some insect spray all right um we can get that from Jim's right yo Jim you got some uh, insect spray uh, detergent dude you got insect spray or what I'm looking for insect spray do you have any it costs five dollars okay I'll take one Dude, why do you have it in the freaking bag? Thanks. Insect spray. Hey, All right. Time to clear these suckers out because I need to investigate this place. I don't know why, but it's best if I open the door a little bit and spray into the house. Uh. <laughs> Eat that, you wasps. 
I think that's enough. All right, let's go in. All of you dead. Dead. Room key number one. All right, that's for the motel. Anything else? <laughs> The fridge is full of larva. Well, freaking after that jump scare, spray them suckers too. Stove. All right. Uh, what's over here? Doors locked. Dang! All these freaking locked doors, man. All right. Let's also look into this house. House number six. Oh wait. Maybe the other ones were this way. Uh, hello. House number eight. Wait, hold on. Seven, nine, and ten? What? Why did this skip eight? Uh oh, I can save. Nice. Alright, um. Lit. What's going on? An earthquake? What is that? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Huge worm! What? The worm pops up wherever you stand, so don't stop moving. The doormats are safe areas. What? Get on the doormat! The door is screwed shut. Without a screwdriver, I can't get in. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. What the freak is this place? Wait, I know I can't come in a freaking house, man. The top drawer is missing a handle. Can't open it. Uh, nothing interesting. Dude, everything is ginormous here. It really is like a Fallout uh, universe. Uh, who's in this bed? What the freak? What's happening? Oh, gosh. Ah! It's... A corpse! But, looking at the body, it's certain that he's been dead for many years. He got the key on him. Oh, a sheet of paper with symbols obtained. Let's take a look at that. Indian symbol sheet. Ten symbols with an, a number assigned to each. What? None of those are familiar. Wait, number three, he put... He put that on my door. But why? Uh, row number one. What's this? Diary of Nicole Green. July 16th. Tim and I had to stop in Dusty Creek since the engine in our uh, car was damaged. I hope it doesn't take long to repair the damage because I do not want to stay in this strange place any longer than necessary. Tim says I should understand that the people here rarely deal with strangers, but I still cannot understand why they are so unfriendly. July 17th. We haven't heard back from the mechanic since he took our car into his workshop. The shutters of the workshop are always closed. Tim is afraid the mechanic is cannibalizing our car. We wanted to talk to the police, but there was no one at the station. I'm getting a, I'm getting a strange feeling from this city. July 18th. Today, an Indian spoke with Tim, who said we must leave the city immediately. We want to get out, but we can't leave without our car. My nerves can't stand this any longer. I need a break. Oh, snap. Oops. Pocket knife. I wonder what happened to Tim and Nicole. Alright, you guys. Well, that'll be all for this episode of Desert Nightmare. There have been others. We are not alone. Me, Ellen, and Jake are not the first ones to come into this strange place. I got a feeling Tim and Nicole didn't leave, and I don't know what the freak was up with that monster, but, um, yes, more to come. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Desert Nightmare. If you did, be sure to assist us to Samurai, slice that like button, subscribe today to join the Samurai, and until next time, I'm going to